Greetings. So, I wanted to take the GMC for a test drive. This is uh, the base game version except for the tires, but uh, the tires are not overpowered. And the trailer is uh, a mod, not my mod, but a very nice one. I can recommend it. I'll put the description, uh, I'll put the link of this mod into the description. So, this is uh, the new GMC, uh, 8000 I think, Brigadier 8000, yes. And uh, it has the best engine, engine available installed. And as I mentioned before, the tires are a little bit better. I later I show you the my tweaked version also. Uh, it didn't do too much on. Uh, in those new trucks, uh, but I put uh, uh, the three new trucks, the base game version, and my early tweaks into a mod, and you can download, subscribe to that mod. It, I, I will put the link to that mod in the description also, and this is only meant for PTS and will only work on the PTS version of the game, so if you have that on your PC, just uh, you can just download my mod and try out the new uh, vehicles and also my tweaked versions versions which uh, have a few improvements but are not fine-tuned uh, tweaks as of now so yeah um, uh, one problem with uh, mods on the BTS server is that they don't update on their own. They don't update themselves, so you have to either link you, your mods uh, you, to the files from, your, from the normal base game. I don't know how that works though, so I just uh, start uh, my normal game. Then all my mods will get updated and I will copy those files into the SnowRunner beta version, which is the BTS version of this game, which is a totally separate game, kinda. But uh, there is uh, on the BTS you will find all the season 4 content, 3 new maps and 5 new vehicles. One of them is not finished, the other one is a very nice one, I had I made a preview about that uh, in another video, and uh, yeah, I also like the new small logging add-on, although there are no missions as of yet, so I didn't find any where it can be used. Okay, now, what I didn't show you before, so those are my tweaked versions and I added the base game colors to the, all of the drugs in the mod. So this, <coughs> those are the color options, I'm not really excited about what the international has to offer, but yeah, at least it has color options. Then. Uh, those are the options for the new GMC, very old school. Um, I will definitely add more color options uh, if, uh, uh, later on. And uh, yeah, the Cat 2 has some pretty nice ones. The blue looks good, but that one is not bad. And yeah, the red one. Um, just for a second, 
Um, both the new International I showed you before and the new CAD have the same problem than the old CAD, uh, that is the uh, CT680 and the new one, the CT681, has the same problem. The axles or the suspensions is mounted uh, to the truck in the file, so you can't really add more a higher suspension here without uh, yeah, even if you don't do anything, I think you have the same effect that uh, the axle looks like it's broken in half a little bit, especially if you add more weight in this case with, with the grain on it, it seems to be somewhat okay, but I can't really, I will tweak that vehicle further and uh, add a third uh, uh, instead of uh, is that even possible? I think I will add a driven axle and make uh, make another more cap capable version with always on diff and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I, may, I will make two versions of this truck: one which is uh, very powerful and uh, one which is just an improvement. In any case, uh, I can't uh, really add a high suspension um, on this truck and on the international which uh, limits a lot what uh, what this truck could be so hopefully they will add an extra suspension when fa until uh, phase 4 is released uh, it will take at least another month I think so there's a possibility that they change that but since the Old cat has it from day one and was never changed. I don't think they will do anything here. But that's enough about the cat now. I wanted uh, to make this video about the Kodiak. So this again is the vanilla version, which I added to a file to this mod because they are not viable in the shop. As of now, if you play on PTS, those uh, drugs are in the game files, but uh, they think they are not showing up on the map and are not buyable in the shop. I'm not sure about the maps, but they are not buyable in the shop. So I made them buyable with this mod and added my uh, tweaks. So here you can see um, different engine options. Let's go with that one, which should be plenty powerful for this truck. No change here. Those are the standard gearboxes. And yeah, I adjusted the suspensions a little bit. Uh, the tuned at least is a tiny bit higher. Didn't add any new tires, but uh, they are connected to my version of the medium tire sets. And as you can see, there are exact stats. But we go with the same one, which is already installed. The chained ones, which have uh, a real pretty good uh, traction in mud and yeah i don't i don't think i need uh, uh let's go with yeah a little bit better one offline uh winch um yeah okay all wheel drive is already installed and So, it is a little bit more capable than, uh, than the base game version, of course, because of the engines mostly. You can choose more powerful engines than the base game has to offer. Gotta be the trailer. 
creating a conflict, I think. Well, and here we go, already stuck. So, even with uh, more power, <coughs> you still get stuck. But yeah, it's a, not the biggest truck with a heavy load. Tires are not the biggest either. I might add some single tires to this tweak. We shall see if they fit on this truck. And uh, yeah, maybe adjust some some stats and uh, definitely the engines and uh, maybe the gearbox gearboxes. I will add uh, my version of gearboxes, I guess. But those are just the small things. And yeah, but they need to be fine-tuned. So this will take a little bit to do that. The other things were pretty easy, just uh, just some small changes for now. But yeah, I don't think uh, I will spend too much time on the GMC because it is already a pretty nice machine, a pretty useful truck. Not the most powerful one, but uh, yeah, sometimes you want it to be a little bit more challenging. I guess you won't drive that thing on the new maps, which are snow, snow and some more snow and a few cliffs in between. So uh, if you saw the other video where I took a first look at the phase 4 content maps, uh, yeah. Uh, they seem to be uh, in Minecraft 2.0 and I'm not really looking forward to play on those maps. Um, I like maps uh, with less snow or no snow a lot more. But yeah, of course I will uh, look into what they have to offer. And I didn't do much uh, of that as of now because of the new drugs. Yeah, the new pickup car looks nice, but unfinished. And the other new truck, or the new Russian truck, based on is based on the Mats. Uh, I don't know the exact number from uh, Mat Runner. And that's really a capable truck, and uh, doesn't seem to need much uh, improving. So I didn't uh, add that truck to this collection for now, but I probably will do that in the future. And I think, uh, yeah, that new drug shows you what the new maps need, uh, what is needed on those maps, and that's a lot of traction in mud, because snow is like mud. And, uh, yeah, it's a heavy machine, so not like this one, it's a pretty light truck, but uh, yeah, it's not like it gets uh, too easily stuck, at least not with my set of tires on them, although as I said they are not overpowered, so you can of course get stuck. Uh, as you can see here. So let's put the diff lock on and we shall see if we get, yeah, we might get out of here without the winch, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think this has to be a truck. Uh, more powerful truck which goes for mud like nothing. It wouldn't be a fit for for that machine. So I uh, like 
<coughs> I like how it is now. And I guess I'll uh, leave it like that for now and focus on uh, other drugs for if I update uh, the new mod, uh, the phase 4. Mod, uh, mods, which this is, uh, this is one of them. Anyway, I hope you you like the video and uh, enjoy the new drugs as much as I do. If you don't know how to put them in new game files, uh, you can just subscribe to my mod. I think I already mentioned that. And then uh, load up your BTS game and and use uh, use my tweaked versions or the base game versions. And yeah, if you see that I uh, made an update and uh, you want uh, you want that on your BTS uh, version of the game, you have to probably have to. Uh, Install the new update manually, and I have put a description on how to do that into the not description. Description, so it's pretty easy. Just copying uh, the mod file, the back that is, and well, I guess. Uh, I'll end it here. So, goodbye.